I was sleeping tight, but suddenly I got woken up by something. Hmm, what woke me up? I was still a bit sleepy. The thing had a human face. He was wearing a lot of clothes from top to bottom. When I saw his face, he was smiling at me, which made me think that he was another human who came in here for $10 million. I was very excited to see another human again. When Jake left, I felt extremely regretful, and now I saw another human. I wanted to go up to him and give him a huge hug immediately just like giving a hug to my best friend. However, when I was about to hug him, I was frozen and suddenly goosebumps covered my body. I was suddenly fully awake. I saw his body was half transparent. I could see the table behind him through his body. I was shivering. Was that even a human or was that a monster? Would it murder me or eat me? Why didn't it have a normal body? How could it have no heart and no organs? My brain was filled with question marks. Just as I was questioning myself, it started speaking. You killed my pet Hooper! Oh god, I'm fucked up. He'll take my life. I felt like my face was twitching. I felt like my heart was jumping extremely rapidly and it would jump out from my body any second. Ha, uh, you're scared by me. You're so timid. I don't know how a timid person would want to come into the back rooms. I wanted to put up my middle finger, but I had to pretend like I wasn't scared at all. I had a million curse words for him in my mind. He spoke again. Do you know who I am? I, I, I don't. I replied being a bit awkward. Ah, I am the person who will ask you the questions. He said. Suddenly I realized who he was. I had read about him from the backroom wiki. He could either put me into another level or create a virtual reality where I could live my life by him asking me to answer his questions honestly. Would you answer my questions honestly? I definitely would. I really want to get out from this level because everything here is infinite. I hate the feeling of an infinite loop day after day. Why did you come to the back rooms? Oh, it was an easy one I thought. Because I wanted the 10 million dollars, I replied to him right after he finished his sentence. Oh, you're an honest guy. So, the second question I want to ask is why did you fail so many university courses? He asked again. It wasn't a hard one either. Because I spent too much time making videos on YouTube, so I didn't have enough time to study. I replied to him. Well, I see that it's a wrong answer. How could it be a wrong answer? I answered it truthfully. You only have one more chance. If you don't get this right, I'll go back home to sleep. At this moment, I had a lot of pressure. I knew what he meant. If I didn't find the right answer, I would never be able to leave this level. Why? Just why wasn't it the right answer? I kept questioning myself. You need to face to your problems, not avoid them. I started thinking hard. I recalled all the scenes when I had been in class. I suddenly realized that when I thought a course was really hard, I tried escaping it. When I had too much homework, I wasn't concentrating on it. Sometimes, I didn't even respect the professor. I remembered that there were only a few courses where I listened and learned properly the whole time. My guy, that's the right answer. I didn't say anything though. But I have the ability to know what people are thinking about. The third question. If I put you in a virtual reality with $10 million for you, but everything else is the same as reality, would you go there? This made me think for a long time and say my final answer. I would not go to a virtual reality because my family and friends would never be able to see me again if I remained there, and that would also be a type of escaping the reality. Although the worth of life is subjective and differs significantly from person to person, humans in virtual reality do not have either humanity or a soul. In the virtual world, only I would be genuine. Everyone else would be simply a phony creation with no morals or principles, despite the fact that they would be all identical, I explained. Good job, man. These are some fantastic opinions and you're very honest about your feelings. He said as he and the surroundings started to vanish and my vision became blurry.